Welcome to my recent pickups where we talk about all the items that I got in the last month. This includes sneakers, clothing, and just random things in my life. So let's start off with some blazers and not this blazer I'm wearing right now. I'll talk about that later, but some Nike blazers. And we'll talk about this Nike blazer first. This is the classic, the OG. Very good looking sneaker. Blazers in general just have become one of my top favorite sneakers of all time. And I own five different pairs of blazers. That just goes to show how much I love these. The variety of colors is what gets me and makes it so versatile. Because even if you don't know what you're doing and you throw on a pair of these, it kind of looks like you're a color connoisseur. The shape, the vintage feel to it, you can't really beat these. I ended up swapping the laces on this one to some cream laces that I got off Amazon. I definitely recommend doing that on sneakers that do have that cream heel. It gives it a nice little touch. This one specifically is the Team Red Maroon colorway. Okay. I already have the Celestial Blue, and they're just an easy white sneaker with a pop of color to throw on any outfit. Now, let's talk about the SB Blazers. I got these ones because yes, I do skate my sneakers, and I will skate these, but also because I'm trying to push myself out of my color comfort zone. Just look at this, the mint, the yellow, the pink colorway. This color blocking is kind of ridiculous, but looks really good. And if you guys remember during my How To Style Blazers video, I couldn't find any SB Blazers to style in that video. So now I finally have them, and if you guys wanna see a comparison between the two, the differences between the mids 77s, the SBs, I might consider making a video on that. Because I also picked up a different pair of Nike blazers. This one right here is the Blazer Mid Edge. I already have the leather maroon one, but that one was a little bit kind of hard to style and make good outfits with. So I really like the Blazer SB Mid Edge. I skated those heavily. There's still some life to it, but I just wanted to get another one because I'm going to skate this one. And if you guys recall, this SB blazer does have the deconstructed look right here. So the swoosh is ripped off and it's placed onto this area right here in the toe box. Very convenient, more durable. And again, this color is quite loud and I kind of like that. Let me know which blazer you guys like the most. These are definitely a summer kick. I'm excited to rock. I'm not excited to take them off though. <laughs> I don't know, I just personally end up sweating more trying to take these off than whenever I go out shopping, which is why I personally like online shopping. And when I do, I make sure to use the sponsor of today's video, Karma, formerly known as ShopTagger. Karma is the best way to tackle online shopping and I've personally been using it for years, even before they sponsored the channel. Basically, whenever you find an item that you like, whether it's in stock or out of stock, you can tag that item and add it to any of your curated lists. I personally have a bunch of different aesthetics, different vibes I'm feeling, and you can have Karma notify you via email or push notification when that item is back in stock, or you can choose to be notified if there's a sale or a price change. Personally, I set it for any price change because any sale will get my attention. And when you shop on a site, there will be this blue button that pops on the side that you can move up and down to navigate around the page easier. And this doesn't only apply to clothing and sneaker stores, you can use it on like Best Buy, and stuff like that. I have like camera gear and stuff saved for whenever those go on sale. This is also where the coupon feature will pop up during checkouts and this is only available in desktop. So just make sure you get the extension. Just click that button and let Karma get you some discounts. Plus on partnered sites, you can activate the cash back feature, saving you even more money on your purchase. So go ahead and click that link in the description to download the extension. You can also download the mobile app as well. Start shopping, start building up that good Karma. Karma, you guys are the best. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to the pickups. So let's talk about the Uniqlo Airism Oversized Tee. I picked up another white one, as you can see. My last white one does have a few permanent stains, you know, white t-shirt problems. So it was time to get a new one. And you guys know this is my favorite shirt of all time. I think it's a staple for summer, especially with that Airism technology, because Airism technology really does make a difference compared to a standard cotton tees, which I still love and will still wear. But this is just 15 bucks. Come on, man. They look like your normal cotton tees, but they are way more breathable. And I wear a size medium, by the way. I am 5'7", 156 pounds, still a muscular build. So hopefully that helps you for sizing reference the large is a little bit too large for me and the small is a little bit too short in the hem area for myself now up next are my pickups for my trip to colorado i went back last week to visit family and we ended up in rocky mountain national park and there was just this really cool gift shop there with unique items and i just decided to pick some stuff up. So this trucker hat, you got the Colorado logo, I guess. This is what the C is on the flag of Colorado. And it already came pre-distressed and with a sort of washed look. Definitely will go with some more vintage or skate fits. And this thing was only 12 bucks. And then I got a short sleeve and a long sleeve graphic tee. Nothing crazy, just a simple design. But what sucks about the short sleeves and just gift shops in general is they don't really know cuts of clothing, right? They're just trying to sell their merch and all that. So the fit isn't as nice. It's more slim fitting, even though I got a size large, which normally would be more oversized. But that's fine. I'll just wear a jacket over this whenever it gets a little bit colder. And the long sleeve's not bad at all. This is something I'm definitely going to be skating in. You guys know I love shopping at local gift shops because not only are you supporting that local community, you're going to get some unique pieces that nobody can really get unless they go to that specific shop. And then we got the creme de la creme of techwear sandals. These ones right here are the Suico Kiss 
TV. The utility look of this is just awesome with that nylon and neoprene upper. You see that yellow thing on the sole? That is how you know this is premium. Vibram makes this sole and a massive amount of great quality soles in other footwear. And that yellow tab is an indicator of that. It's great for hiking, durable, and comfortable. Just be aware if you guys do get this, you do have to break it in. There's a break-in period. It does feel quite different whenever you first walk in these. Might even be a little bit uncomfortable, but they do break in over time. And you can wear these with socks. Don't let that no socks and sandals advice get to you guys. I don't really know who came up with that rule, but um, the Japanese have been wearing socks and sandals for mad long. They've been doing it and been doing it well. But for me personally, since it is summer, I like wearing these barefoot with some cargo pants and just leaning into that tech look. And hopefully I get comfortable enough with these to try styling them in streetwear fits. I'm sure I'll get there eventually. It's gonna push me out of my comfort zone. Up next are the Lululemon Lab Utility Pants. I've been looking to expand my technical pants wardrobe, and this one is simple and more functional to my lifestyle, because if you didn't know, tech wear focuses a lot on functionality, and that's what we really care about at the end of the day. The aesthetics, they come afterwards, at least for me. So these pants may not be for the OG tech head, because while I do really enjoy the traditional tech ninja type of aesthetic, the gray man aesthetic is more suited for myself. It's minimal yet functional. And I started climbing recently and these are going to be the pants that I wear whenever I climb. They're super stretchy, water repellent, has zipper pockets and a built-in adjustable belt. And they do come with a cropped look which do make these pants quite unique. And styling them with sandals, woof. Up next, let's talk about my H&M pickups. If you guys didn't know, I do partner with H&M on Instagram. So let's start off with this relaxed fitting linen shirt. As you can see, it's already see-through which just shows how breathable it is and perfect for summer. Even though it is black, it is very breathable and it is a short sleeve. This is made out of 100% linen and it does have a relaxed fit. Very simple. I've really been enjoying these short sleeve button ups for summertime. Plus, I also got this blazer. I never thought I'd see myself wearing a blazer in normal outfits. So this is also a very breathable breezer. I'm not very hot right now. It's like 90 degrees outside. Air conditioner's not even on. I'm not even sweating. This does come in a navy colorway and obviously it's not gonna be super great quality compared to you know the top tier brands. So I just embrace that. I'm going to wear it with my normal street fits. I don't care if it gets damaged. I don't really need to baby this. And last but not least, I took a W on sneakers. Can you guys believe that? You guys believe that? I got lucky. So these right here are the Kobe 5 Undefeated Hall of Fame collaboration. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. There's lots of cool details on these pairs. You got Kobe's jersey numbers, the gold, the purple, and the pop of red really makes these stand out. Thanos would definitely wear this sneaker. Now, I personally prefer the What If White colorway, but these are pretty solid. You guys know me, I always wear my sneakers, but this might be the only one I'll keep dead stock for a while. I'll probably end up wearing it eventually, actually. But Kobe, man, rest in peace. And another thing I did pick up was a climbing membership. I actually picked up this climbing membership in Williamsburg. This gym is like the apple of climbing gyms. It's pretty dope. Climbing has just been something I've been enjoying a lot. Weightlifting has just been boring to me. And I also got this high boy e-scooter. This has a range of 25 miles and does top out around 19, 20 miles per hour. With this thing, I don't ever have to get a subway pass ever again. Back then, I was paying $125 a month for the unlimited subway before it went up. The thing was only like $490. So really after four months, the thing pays for itself. Definitely recommend an e-scooter if you guys live in New York. Those are my pickups, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found some insights on some of the pieces. And I'll try and leave as much links in the description as I can. Those will be affiliate links just to be transparent. Make sure you guys download the Karma extension. I really do recommend it to save some money whenever you guys go shopping. And if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ty. And until then, stay fly. Deuces.